Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 5000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, it's so close, thanks for support me, guys. Gervonta Davies gets sentenced, when can Tank fight again? Gervonta Davies, who pleaded guilty after a hit and run incident in November 2020, leaving four people, including a pregnant woman, hospitalized has avoided jail time but has been sentenced to house arrest. It has only been two weeks since Davis had drawn Garcia, his first pro defeat in one of the most anticipated fights of this year. Now the boxer from Baltimore is facing house arrest and probation. Reportedly, the 28-year-old draw a 2020 Lamborghini Urus on the 5th of November 2020 and collided with a 2004 Toyota Solara. Following the collision, Davies' car crashed into a fence. As per reports, although the injured pregnant woman begged for help, Davies avoided her and got his things and left. Although there are still remaining charges, for the time being, Davies, who could have faced jail time, lived with only a house arrest and three years of probation. In 2020, Davies drove on a revoked lead sense and ran a red light. After the incident, he left the scene with others physically harmed and an owner unnotified of property damage. The current WBA lightweight title holder has now been sentenced to 90 days of house arrest, followed by three years of probation. Hence, for the next three months, Gervonta Davies will certainly have to stay away from boxing. As per The Guardian, initially, Gervonta Davies' counsel opted for 60 days of unsupervised home confinement. Johnny Nelson stood up for Ryan Garcia. If you have not missed such a blow, you will never be able to appreciate it. Former world champion Johnny Nelson came to the defeats of Ryan Garcia, who came under criticism because he did not try to continue the fight with Gervonta Davis after missing a body blow. I would rather be in a bad knockout than a loss after hitting the body because you are still conscious, but your body is out of order. It's easy for people who have never missed a body blow to say that Garcia should have done this or that. If you get such damage that you can't move and breathe, then you try to adapt to it by thinking, just let me get to my feet and breathe again. But your lungs are failing. I'll be honest with you, when Garcia fell, I initially did not see this blow. Then I saw a full replay, where Garcia's body and the left hook were in the frame, which fell at the right point. If you haven't missed a shot like that, you will never be able to appreciate it, Nelson said. Famous British promoter Reddy Hearn announced his desire to work with American Ryan Garcia. According to the promoter, if Ryan ever decides to become a free agent and breaks up with his promotion company, Golden Boy Promotions, he will make every effort to sign Garcia. Am I ready to sign Ryan Garcia? Sure. But for this, he must become a free agent. If so, I am ready to discuss everything. I used to speak honestly about his defeat in the fight with Gervonta Davies, but I am ready to sign a contract with him. This is a question for Golden Boy, but we haven't had any conversations on this topic. He didn't say it. The head of the matchroom boxing promotion company as you heard believed that Ryan Garcia lost to Gervonta Davies because he had never fought with rivals of this level before. It was a great fight for boxing, well done to all those who arranged it. Davies won a remarkable victory. If you think about it, we should have predicted it, it was a good performance. He is a great fighter. Davies won because he is a little bit higher than Ryan Garcia. Ryan had never fought at this level before. I don't think he is tall enough to take that amount of damage in combat, and you've seen that, Hiron said. Famous trainer Reddy Reynoso commented on the performance of this former world Ryan Garcia in a fight with Gervonta Davis. Reynoso believes that Ryan has lost the skills they worked on before and therefore could not adequately prove himself in this fight. He learned to use his left hand, work with his feet and use the distance well. That's what we have always been working on. In this fight he didn't keep his distance. Garcia is very difficult to beat when he is disciplined and uses all the skills I have listened. 
In this fight, he lost his sense of decency, and that's where Davis benefited. Ring also said, Shakur Stevenson can do a bit of everything. There is a lot of talent there, and I hope they fight each other. Whether that's Davin, Tank, Regis, Matias, all those guys, at 140, Josh Taylor, Tafimo Lopez, there is so many great fights to be made. On how he ranks the fighters he just mentioned, I think Shakur Stevenson is the best at 135 pounds. He is the best fighter, I think so. He is a fantastic fighter. Listen, Davin, this is my friend. I think Davin against Shakur is a great fight, as is Tank. I just don't think he will beat Shakur Stevenson. I don't think he is a massive star like Tank Davies, but I don't think anyone beats him. I would bet Shakur Stevenson every time over those guys. Shakur Stevenson may be a guy that gets beat when he moves up. He started at featherweight, went to super, now he is at lightweight. Over time, those special guys will get beat by moving up divisions. Maybe in nowhere. That's how they will get beat. But moving up divisions. Ryan Garcia asks back to Eddie Reynoso, the star American lightweight Ryan Garcia, who in April lost in the most important fight of his career by knockout to Cherponte Davies, decided to return under the wing of the Mexican star Saul Alvarez team. Early we wrote that Garcia broke up with coach Joe Goulson, with whom he had been familiar since his days in the amateur ring, and now insider Salvador Rodriguez writes that Ryan Garcia is asking to go back to Eddie Reynoso. I was told that Garcia's team contacted Reynoso to see if he was ready to accept him again. So far, both sides are in no hurry. Recall that Garcia and Reynoso have been collaborating since 2018. Under his leadership, Ryan won five fights in a row. But then the tail end ate lightweight unexpectedly challenged his coach, saying that Reynoso was so busy with Canelo Alvarez that he had no time for other fighters. Rumor has it that the Davies Garcia fight has collected a huge number of sold out broadcasts, and Ryan's promoter is sure that the boxers will meet again, but later. Influential British promoter Eddie Hearn reacted to rumor that the star American boxer Ryan Garcia, after losing to Gervonta Davies, intends to return to former coach Eddie Reynoso. For me, Eddie Reynoso is probably the best coach in the world. If you go to Eddie Reynoso, you have to listen to what he tells you. I'm just commenting on it as an outsider, a fan. It seems to me that Ryan Garcia does some things in his own way. He works on a pause with his brother and so on. If you work with Eddie, you give him everything, do as he says. He is your teacher. No, see you Monday or Tuesday. No, no, only work every day 100%. Eddie doesn't play games. If you don't show him dedication, you're out. And why not show this devotion with him? He is a very good coach. I think it will be a great tandem. Hearn said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.